Well, super busy day again. I feel like I say that a lot. Um, got the boys in the arena. Pretty early morning. I already got out on one horse to do some practice puddles and I don't know, big leaky spots. And I, I when I was working on it, I couldn't help but think that I really want to sort of stress that any opportunity you get to sort of work a horse through something that they're not quite comfortable with, it's just a great opportunity to do something that will probably help the next thing. Um, for example, the guy that I was working with, he, when he wants to evade something, he'll go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, uh, as, as quick as he can. If, if your timing's good, you can block it and try to keep them moving forward. If that doesn't work, he kind of comes up and, you know, maybe he bucks a little, uh, not a lot, but, you know, something that just says, hey, I don't want to do this. Um, but while working with him, it occurred to me to, to sort of make a mental note about talking about it a little bit where you, um, you can get him through that one hard thing at one point and then look at these guys. Busy. Super duper rainy. Really, really rainy here. Um, not right now. Got a bit of a lull in the weather, but supposedly it's supposed to rain a two or three centimeters, an inch or so. Inch. <laughs> inch of rain. Um, anyway, so when you get them through, you know, something that's kind of difficult. I thought I'd just come down to the middle here. You guys can watch these Cracker Jacks run around. Um, while I talk a little bit. Look at that. Oh, see these guys always, I put the four of them in here and it's always two and two. It's never four or three and one. Two standard breads, one standard bread and a mutt. And that guy, Luke, don't know exactly what he is. I don't think I know anybody who doesn't laugh when a horse goes by or they're doing something silly and they start bucking or something and then they fart. <laughs> uh, anyhow, so... So anyways, when... See, look, they're playing in the... There's a little puddle at the back here. And, uh... There, I don't know if you can see that. It's a little ways away. Anyway, so when you get them through something that really, really bothers them, maybe it's getting across a bridge or through a puddle or over a log or through some skinny pathway or whatever, in a trailer even, and you get them past that and what they've done didn't succeed. So maybe they tried turning left and right, left and right, maybe they tried to rear up, maybe they tried to buck, maybe they tried to bite, maybe they... Anything that they're they're saying to you, I don't want to do this. This is not cool. I, I don't feel comfortable. It scares me. Or I want to go do something else. And you get them through that. You get them through that difficult sort of thing. Most of the time, um, when you're trying to get them through the next difficult thing, then they get a little bit better through each one. So. So today was a lot better than the last time, and um, and I think it's it's definitely due to the fact that what he tried to do the time before uh, not only didn't work, but he also knew that I wouldn't keep bugging him if he just kind of did what I did. And with that, on top of all that, because he made it through the last scary incident, he probably has something well, I mean, we don't really know. Or just look at this guy. <laughs> Some, oh, here he, no, it's gotta go pee. Um, you you get them through that, and then they figure that maybe, just maybe, you're trustworthy. Maybe 
and this is just a guess, maybe they can believe in you that you're not going to take them somewhere dangerous and get them hurt. So. And that's kind of the horseman's job. Horseman, horsewoman, doesn't matter. Um, is to do your very best to keep your horse safe and unhurt and it's not always successful that's that's just a given you're gonna have times when it isn't successful you're gonna get hurt or they're gonna get hurt because you're trying to do things um, but you always try to set that up for the best success as possible start small go big um, look at these Ugh. well that's bear bears doing really well I was going to ride him shortly. He's doing great with his riding, by the way. Uh, I haven't really posted much on him lately. As a reminder, when he's done messing around here, he will um, he will be going to a, a new home. Um, if anybody's ever interested in bear, come on down and check him out. But he's doing really well. Very playful, much, much improvement. And then there's this girl. I know. You want to play with the boys, but you can't. Just move her off of the fence a little. There. See, the deal is, is when she plays with the boys, the boys get really protected, which is another topic altogether, putting geldings with mares. Um, sometimes you can do really well. Lena does pretty, quite well. Nobody really fights over her, but. I guess she's a big deal. Anyhow, uh, moving on, we've got uh, got to work with bear. Got chores. A lot of leaves that have come down. Hopefully the rain stays off for a little while, even though we're supposed to get a pretty good amount of rain. Um, clean up, make sure everybody's still got hay. Another topic to talk about again is feeding. What horses need. Just recently, uh, was able to watch a scoping of um, of a horse for ulcers. Very, very interesting. Super interesting. I mean, I've seen pictures and some video here and there, but to see it live is is quite fascinating. Um, if you ever get the opportunity to check that out, you should. Uh, if you scoped your horse, you might find out something kind of interesting uh, in regards to ulcers, usually, uh, which is what they're usually checking for. So. Uh, talking about feeding, very, very important. Keep it. Hey, big guy. You look awfully sandy. <laughs> I know. Everybody's sandy. Come out here and roll. Get a good scratch. Good for them. Uh, anyways, forget that, all that stuff. I'll get back to that in the time. Definitely 24 7 hay. So I'm making sure everybody's got some. Uh, which they almost always do. And uh, look here. This guy's out of prison. All better. How's it going, big guy? <laughs> He'd like to go play with the boys, but um, I'm going to be cautious with him. Because he's been locked up for so long talking about um stall rest medications surgery post-surgery yeah lots of topics when it came to this guy but he's out and free now right i bug him so much and there's lena what's going on where's your hat Look at this mop. Such a good looking horse. Liking the ear scratches. <laughs> okay, I'm getting off. Uh, all right, I'll, um, I'll leave that there. Got lots of stuff to do, I'll maybe be back. If not, this might be the end. If so, thanks for watching. See you guys again soon. If not, I'll be back and then I'll say that again. So. <laughs> this guy's let me out soon. Okay.